I'm Anna Watson. I'm from Ashland, Ohio, and I'm a sophomore. Kind of a unique story. You get a brother-sister combo to come yeah. to Eastern. That's not very often that somebody wants to go to school the same place their brother goes. No, that's actually probably one of the reasons I came here, though, because Max and I play a lot of golf together, and it was just like, it's nice knowing he's here. Eastern's not far from home, which is another yeah. nice aspect. What was it about campus or the golf program that was also really in intriguing for you? I really like the campus and the new science complex because I'm a biology major. And then Coach really drew me here because she's just, her personality's great. She's nice, welcoming, and a good coach. Um, you, you talked about your biology major. Yeah. What, what got you interested in biology and, and that wanting to be kind of the major that you chose? Well, in high school, I took a lot of bio and chemistry classes and I liked them. So my sister was also a biology major. So long term, would that dovetail into a medical career or what kind of, how would that work? I'm not sure what I want to do, but I I know I don't want to be a doctor because I don't want to go to school forever. <laughs> uh, during COVID, I heard that you and Max spent a good amount of time. You kind of went to Florida and, mm -hmm. and played in the South. How did that help you to kind of be away and do kind of some of that stuff? So, yeah, we spent last fall, instead of moving on to campus, we went to my grandparents' house in Florida. And it was just nice because we actually got to play until Christmas. We were outside every day, all day, pretty much. We went from, I mean, it's just warm weather is great because you can do everything, every activity. We played tennis, golf, swam, biked, ran, <laughs> exercised. It's, it was just a good opportunity. A lot of people have that sibling rivalry or they don't get along, but uh, how's your relationship grown stronger since you and Max have been here? Um, it's good. We can talk about everything and like what's going on. It's nice to just have someone to talk to about golf and just life and school in general because we're close. We've lived together our whole lives. It's just easy. How'd you get started in golf? My grandpa, actually, he retired um, probably when I was like five, I want to say. And then... I kind of would play around with him and Max, but I didn't really get into it until I was probably 11 or 12. What's kind of, was there an early memory or, or something that made you realize that I'm pretty good at golf? There is one putt that I remember my first tournament, which I won. It was only nine holes, but like the second hole of the tournament, I had like a probably 70 foot putt downhill. My grandpa was caddying for me. He was like, just hit it, you know, try and get it close. And I drained it. And so that just, that was a nice memory. That's a pretty awesome memory. Yeah. Uh, do you have, as you, a favorite course or a place that you guys play a lot that, that is like, that's my course that I'm really, really good at? Um, I would say my hometown course, Ashland Golf Club. I work out there. And I play every day, and I'm friends with all the cart barn guys, the pro, everyone knows me. So it's just a nice atmosphere. And I love the golf course. I never get tired of playing it. So, How's, uh, how's Eagle Crest compared to it? I like Eagle Crest a lot, too, actually. It kind of reminds me of Ashland Golf Club. And, like, there are a lot of trees, and you have to place the ball in certain areas to make it easier, but I like Eagle Crest a lot too. You guys had a lot of success at Eagle Crest last year. You get to win your home tournament in the Spork. Yes. Uh, and a lot of winning overall that the team was able to do. Granted, I know you finished just run up to Central at Toledo and all that mm -hmm. stuff, but uh, what was it like last year to see the success that this team had? It was great. It definitely gives us something to strive for every time because we know we have the talent and we put in the hard work, so we're deserving of every win we get. 
got a note from coach that said you were selected one of the co-captains this year. Yes. What was that honor like and how'd she surprise you with that honor? Um, she just told me probably a week or two ago and I'm very blessed and honored to be a leader on the team. And it's just, I think it'll be a great opportunity to help everyone grow. A lot of underclassmen on this team versus a lot. Usually you have a bunch of seniors. There's no true senior on this roster. How Mm -hmm. do you have to to kind of lead knowing that you've got three freshmen and you four sophomores and Mm -hmm. two juniors? I tend to lead by example. So I'm not the most talkative person, but I put in the hard work. People see it. It pays off. And I'll be there if you have any questions, if you need to talk to someone. So just being present, I guess. Is there a person or that you watch on TV on the tour that you kind of look up to and respect that their game is or that you emulate yours off of a little bit? Um, well, I don't know so much that, but my favorite player is Justin Rose. And he just seems like a really good guy, friendly guy. And I just like that about him. If you could play golf anywhere, a course that you've maybe never even played, is there a course that you would go play? Uh, probably Augusta <laughs> is what I would say. You guys have played close, but uh, not actually at Augusta, mm-hmm. though, right? Yeah. Uh, this upcoming spring, you head to Florida here in a few days. Mm-hmm. What's the, the most exciting thing for you about this spring? Well... I love going to Florida. Florida is like a second home to me because my grandparents live there half the year. And I'm looking forward to the MAC because we're going to win the MAC championship. A lot of people have tried to unseed Kent State. What makes this team ready to be able to do it? We have the talent and we're putting in the work. And I think if you put in the work, you truly believe it, we'll show up and we'll play. Last year as a freshman, you were second on the team in scoring average this year right there as well. Uh, how have you improved your golf game since you got to, the, to college? Um, I would say, I mean, I've always been consistent, but just becoming even more consistent and know when to be aggressive when I play. Yeah, how do you balance that sometimes high risk, high reward versus knowing it slow and steady sometimes pays off a little easier? Yeah, I would say it definitely depends on the golf course itself and like where we are in the standing, I guess. But I never like to know the scores and stuff. I try not to think about that because the outcome will be what it will be. So are you superstitious or do you have a routine on on the golf course that you kind of got to have to follow? I definitely have a routine, but it's not so much superstitious. I do. So some of my teammates have said that I like I wear a crucifix or right now it's a miraculous medal, but I tend to like touch that before I putt. So I remember at the Shirley Sport that I was with your mom for a, a minute out there and she, she kind of looked over and there was a, a priest and a nun out there. You don't yeah. see that too often on a golf course, yeah. but they came out to, to watch you play. Two priests and a nun, yeah. So I go to St. John the Baptist Catholic Church. So I'm a part of their community. And he said, and they have like discipleship night and fellowship and community nights. So that's kind of a, a nice thing that you've developed bonds here with people in the community and come out to support you in that aspect, right? Yeah, definitely. You learn a lot about a person when you play around a golf with them. I mean, sometimes it's the verbal communication, sometimes the nonverbal communication. How has golf made you a better person? Well, I've never been a super like emotional or physical person on the golf course, like throwing clubs or getting upset. So... I guess just it shows you you have to be even tempered and it doesn't help you to get frustrated with golf. What's your proudest moment on a golf course? Well, one of this isn't actually about me, though. When my brother won the Ohio AM, I was there watching him this past summer. So that was a really great moment. And then for myself, I had a double eagle my senior year of high school. So 
that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was that's impressive. <laughs> uh, having the men's team and getting to practice with them and uh, just be around them in general, the cohesiveness between the two, two programs, how does that help make each side better? I definitely think there's some competitiveness that the guys have more so than girls tend like tendency wise but and I'm used to playing with guys over the summer I play with my brother and his friends so I love the competition just like putting competition chipping whatever make everything win or lose uh if you had to hit one shot doesn't matter the distance what you're what you're going to do what club are you pulling out of your your bag and why pitching wedge I just I don't know I like that club I hit it straight I hit it well I just like that club and that distance that I hit it outside of golf but what do you like to do I love reading so I think I'm reading too many books at the moment I have about four going so I read anything from like mystery murder nonfiction pretty much anything. And then any sport, I'll, I'm, I will play basketball. I used to play soccer, ping pong. I love ping pong, pool, any sport I'll play. On the reading side, some people like the, the paper book. Some people like just their e-reader, which are you? I hate online textbooks and everything. So I like to have a physical book. Uh, when you look at it, at leaders, um, everybody has a different style. How would you want somebody to describe your leadership style? I think just like kind, there when you need them, and someone that pushes you, like knows how to push you in a way that will make you the best version of yourself. You're also a member of SAC too, if I remember right. I was last was year. Was last I'm year. Currently not. Okay. How? Uh, what? What does that group? In your opinion, what, what's that group do and help EMU student-athletes? How do they help them? I think it helps form a community with other student-athletes because personally, I don't know a lot of other student-athletes, but that introduced me to some that I probably would not have come across just in contact throughout have, the day. Have you set a goal or a, a personal best that you want to be this season? I would like to win a tournament individually, and I want to win the MAC as a team. Knowing that it's it, the MACs are in Toledo this year, mm -hmm. have you played the course before? We played once this fall. What, what was your impression of the course so far? It's a nice course. I, I like the style, trees. I like, I like a narrow course, and it's in really good shape, so I think it'll be good. Walking or riding? Walking. Always walking. Yeah. Even if you're just out hanging out? Usually, unless I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> but 